I was uh, drawn into music by partly having a musical background, going to visit my father, uh, he was a musician, um, but also just to, out of an interest to learn instruments, started on the piano, violin, uh, and then later on got the bug to learn um, a brass instrument and went down the line. When I was about 17, it seemed logical to um, bring my perspectives, different perspectives from within the orchestra and also outside the orchestra and as a pianist, to look at the whole picture. And of course, the conductor has that picture in front of them, and as well as understanding the structure and working with some great musicians who taught me really the art of rehearsal technique, um, I was really able to. Uh, make that my primary goal to be a conductor. But one of the first conductors I saw was actually Sean Edwards, who was a female conductor. So that was um, just the norm for me compared to you know the other conductors I saw. I saw a woman on the podium then, and I didn't think twice about it. Okay. The figures, which are all several years right. old, right. show about 12% of uh, music directors in, in the top 85 orchestras that are female. Um, you go to the top 24 orchestras, i.e. the biggest budget orchestras, then you're talking about one. So uh, then if you look at the number of students who are studying conducting or youth orchestras who are conducted by women, it's, it's more even. So it is uh, a work in progress. Um, certainly I'm glad that things are open enough for me to um, now be in my third music directorship as a woman conductor um, and hopefully things will continue to change at a faster rate than they have in the past. Well the opening night for me, you know, I'm, I'm really focused as a, as a musician, as well as the musicians there getting ready to perform and um, I like as, as few sort of distractions because you know I, I'm, I'm thinking about the music I'm, I'm, and that doesn't stop so if I'm having a conversation I'm still thinking about the music and, and uh, you know that, that subconscious development never stops you're still looking at the piece understanding it pacing it thinking about the rhythm that there's so many different aspects to a piece of music that uh, one tries to understand when you when you perform it. I have a thought, you know, we're starting this fantastically strong da -da, da -da. I think we can take it down a notch, even the beginning. The role of a music director in American orchestra is very multifaceted. So number one, you have to be an um, excellent musician, you have to provide great artistic leadership on the podium for the musicians to um, look up to, to respect, to enhance their own ability. Uh, I think of the job of a conductor really is to help the musicians on stage play the best they possibly can do. Um, and so that's a, a critical piece of presenting an exciting concert. You know, everybody on stage needs to be um, excited, enthused, prepared, ready to give an amazing performance. So that's the first job. And, and the second is to really see how uh, the symphony can be part of the community, how it can enhance the, um, the culture of the city, how it can support the schools that need music programs, how it can interact, how it can provide music, uh, classical music that's free to uh, people all over the city and as far reaching as possible. This is part of it is something that I am passionate about is um, bringing my own um, artistic creativity to the programming and um, every person has a unique um, approach to it um, but for me you know this is this is a team uh, I want to incorporate the ideas of uh, a lot of people who know Tacoma 
and have been here much longer than I have, so I'll also look at what has been done and build on that, those successes and maybe change them a little bit so that, that it's still uh, refreshing, but that that excitement w that was there for it still will exist and perhaps even on a much bigger scale. As I go around and conduct and go to other concerts and travel, I'm constantly um, turning the wheel for artistic ideas, programming. Um, I have way more artistic plans in my head than I can realize um, and projects that, that I, I would like to see happen. Um, and so really when it comes to the, the point of our laying down the season, we are juggling a variety of um, aspects, you know, of course a budget and um, what will work here, what will be suitable for Tacoma, what will excite them. And so as I also go around and get to know Tacoma, it's giving me ideas about what I think would be a suitable program for for this city and, and the people here. Well, Tacoma, you know, it's, it's a unique place. It has a, such a, an amazing setting. Um, I love the Pacific Northwest. I mean, it has a different feel to it than the East Coast. It has a different feel to it than California. Um, it's very down to earth, it's very approachable, it's very creative, very artistic, um, you know, obviously high concentration of, of very bright and, and sharp and um, creative minds doing brilliant things. That's a pretty good draw. <laughs>